hello everyone welcome back to my channel so as I informed you earlier in this video I'll be explaining you about uh, the basic properties of fluids and uh, when we talk about the concept of properties the very first property that comes into our mind is uh, density right so what is density density is defined as the ratio of mass of the fluid to volume of the fluid okay it is m by v and this is denoted by the symbol rho these are all standard notations how do you denote the property with okay they do not change so density is denoted by the symbol rho and uh, you are telling it's the ratio of mass of fluid to volume of the fluid right hence it's also called as mass density so the formula of rho is m by v where m stands for mass of the fluid and v is the volume of the fluid and what are the units of this uh, density then see now as i've told you it's m by v what are the units of mass kgs what is the unit of volume? Meter cube. Volume means product of three dimensions. So it is meter into meter into meter, meter cube. So hence the density is expressed as kg per meter cube if it is a SI system and MK system and gram per centimeter cube if it is in CJ system. This gram per centimeter cube is also called as gram per cc. Okay. And uh, when you come to fluid mechanics, as I've told you in my earlier video, what are fluids? Liquids as well as gases. When you consider liquids, water is taken as a standard liquid. And when you are considering gases, air is taken as a standard gas. Okay? Remember these two points. So density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. This is the standard value. 1000 kg per meter cube or it is 1 gram per cc. 1 gram per cc means it is in CGS system. And density of air is 1.225 kg per meter cube. These values you have to remember. Why? Because you'll be getting them in your competitive exams. And even in your uh, MCQs and objective types. Density of water and density of air. Even you require these values when you are doing your laboratory also experiments. Okay. Next let's go for the second property which is weight density. I just now explained you what was mass density. Right. What was mass density? Mass of the fluid to volume of the fluid. Then you have to tell me what will be weight density now. Yes, it's obviously the ratio of weight of the fluid to volume of the fluid. And it's denoted by the symbol small w. This weight density, again I am telling you, remember this point. This weight density is also known as specific weight. In most of the uh, places in fluid mechanics, most of the times they use the word specific weight. So you shouldn't think what is the specific weight. It's nothing but our weight density. Okay, so according to our definition, W is equal to weight of fluid by volume of fluid, which is capital W by capital V. But what is weight? I think you know this in physics. What is weight equal to? M into G, right? Mass into gravity. You have a relation between mass and weight as W is equal to M into G. So from here, I will write specific weight as W by V is our original formula, right? So you can use this formula, that's why I have given as equation number 1, depending upon the, uh, what you call, uh, situation. This is one basic formula and you can just customize this formula as, as I have told you, capital W is M into G. So in the place of capital W, substitute M into G by V. But uh, what is M by V equal to? Just now we discussed, M by V is rho, perfect. So from here you can write W is equals to rho into G. This is another very very important formula. So specific weight is rho into g. Okay, when uh, in most of the cases, especially in Bernoulli's theorem, when you are writing, we write p by w. When you are doing turbines also, they write wqh by thousand, which is the shaft power. Their w means sorry, that's a water power, where w means specific weight rho into g. Okay, this is very very important formula. Coming to the units, how is this uh, specific weight uh, denoted or expressed? It's Newton per meter cube. I told weight by volume, right? So Newton per meter cube. Uh, even you take this formula also, it is Newton per meter cube only. In SI system, if you consider in MKS, Newton is kilogram force, kgf, kgf per meter cube. And if it's in CGS, it is dyne per centimeter cube. And as of a stocking, uh, water is our standard uh, fluid, right? So weight density here it's not density weight density so weight density of water is 9810 have you got this this formula this is already 1000 rho is 1000 into g is 9.81 which is 9810 newton per meter cube 
let's go for the third property which is specific volume specific volume is just the reciprocal or just the inverse of your density as i've told you density was mass by volume so obviously our specific volume will be volume by mass and this uh, specific volume is a property which is related to gases okay we do not use it in fluids i mean sorry in liquids so it's a ratio of volume to mass it is denoted by the symbol small v so as per the definition v is volume by mass which is capital V by M, which is 1 by rho. So, obviously, the units of this specific volume will be meter cube per kg. Why? Because density units were kg per meter cube. It's just the reverse. In SI and M case, in CGS, it will be centimeter cube per gram. And as I've told you, this is applied to gases. Next comes the most important property, specific gravity. Where you will be using this specific gravity n number of times. You have to be very, very confident on density weight density and specific gravity these three properties play a vital role in entire fluid mechanics all right what is specific gravity specific gravity is a ratio of density of a fluid to density of standard fluid i already told you what is a standard fluid in case of liquids as well as in case of gases in case of liquids the standard fluid is water in case of gases the standard fluid is air okay so specific gravity is or specific gravity of any fluid is density of that fluid to density of standard fluid and here you are comparing two densities right you are writing the definition in terms of two densities like density of fluid to density of standard fluid hence specific gravity is also known as relative density do remember this the synonym for specific gravity is relative density as you are relating two densities it's denoted by the symbol capital S so as per the definition s is equal to density of fluid by density of standard fluid that's our basic equation as i've told you in case of liquids we are writing standard fluid to be water in case of gases standard fluid is treated as air and hence uh, it is not having any unit why because it's density of fluid by density of standard fluid so density density units are same they get cancelled so s has no units it is dimensionless quantity even I observed in most of the competitive exams, they'll be asking you the units of specific gravity. It is dimensionless. So, S is equal to density of fluid by density of standard fluid. What is standard fluid? For example, if you're taking liquids, it's water. So, we already know the density of water, right? I told you it's very important to remember. 1000 kg per meter cube. So, from here, S will be density of fluid by 1000. So, from there, what is density of fluid written as? this thousand will go this side so it can be written as s into thousand so you have to remember these three formulas the first formula will be density of fluid by density of standard fluid second formula will be density of fluid by thousand third formula will be density of fluid is equal to s into thousand so why i am telling you to remember these three formulas is formula is it depends on the given input and what is the output you need to calculate if for example they give you the specific gravity of the liquid and they will ask you to calculate the density then you have to use this formula s into thousand if for example some uh, liquid like say some oil whose specific gravity is 0 0.9 is given then in the problem if you require density value what will you do you have to just do 0.9 into thousand that's all you get the density as 900 like that depending upon the question you have to adopt the formula. It means that you have to be very much aware of all these formula. Let's solve few problems related to this. And one more point I can add you here. So what is specific gravity of water now? Can you tell? According to this definition, what is our formula for specific gravity? Density of fluid by density of standard fluid. It means it is simply density of fluid by 1000. Okay. But now I am doing for water only. So in the place of density of fluid i should substitute again thousand so thousand by thousand is one so specific gravity of water is one please remember this and we have another major important liquid which is always used in our laboratory in combination with water which is mercury so specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 13.6 please remember these values let's solve few numericals related to this so see the first question Calculate the specific weight, density and specific gravity of 1 litre of liquid which weighs 7 Newton. Perfect. So, he is asking us to calculate specific weight, density, rho and specific gravity, capital S. For 1 litre of liquid. 1 litre of liquid here means it is the volume of the liquid given. 
which weighs 7 newton means weight of the fluid is 7 newton okay first i'll write the given atom always remember whatever is the type of question a short a long whatever model it is start writing the given data then only you'll have a clarity of what is given and what should you calculate first is volume of liquid given to us capital v which is 1 liter which is 1 by 1000 meter cube why because we have a conversion 1 meter cube is 1000 liters so from there i can write 1 liter as 1 by 1000 meter cube see i have written here so it is 1 by 1000 meter cube what is weight of liquid given to us 7 newton they told which weight is right means weight is 7 newton let's calculate the first property specific weight what is specific weight formula i just told you weight by volume so from here weight is 7 by volume is 1 by 1000 so finally we got specific weight as 7000 newton per meter cube let's go for the second one density see density you can what is our formula for density mass by volume so here directly in the question mass is not given to us weight is given so what you can do is one way is you can write weight as m into g as we know the relation from there you can write m as w by g w is already given to us 7 newton by 9.81 you can do or else i told to remember another important formula when i was teaching you specific uh, weight density or specific weight w is equal to rho into g correct so from here rho is my unknown right so what can rho be written as w by g w just now i calculated right 7000 so 7000 by 9.81 finish we we'll get the value of rho as 713.5 kg per meter cube and the last one specific gravity i told you specific gravity formula density of fluid by 1000 so 713.5 by 1000 0.7135 this is the specific gravity this is how we need to calculate i think when you are observing this problem you should come to a what you should have a clarity that uh, formulas are very very important we have to learn the formulas that's it, the second model of problem calculate the density specific weight and weight of 1 liter of petrol of specific gravity 0.7 just a little bit uh, change in the earlier problem which we have seen in the earlier problem uh, weight was given weight of the fluid was given volume was given we calculated all other parameters now see here specific gravity is given he is asking us to calculate weight okay the reverse now uh, what is that we need to calculate rho small w and capital w what is given to us volume is given one liter and specific gravity is given capital s let's solve now first let's write the given data volume of the petrol capital v is equal to 1 liter which is 1 by 1000 meter cube why because 1 meter cube is 1000 liters specific gravity of petrol capital s is given to us which is 0.7 all right let's calculate the first property density what is formula for density mass by volume but now that is not applicable why because i don't know mass even i don't know weight also to get mass so i have only one alternative to take from s I told you just now when I was explaining the specific gravity. Okay, so S, what is the formula for S? Density of fluid by 1000. So from there I can write density of fluid as this 1000 will go this side S into 1000. So S is already ready with us, right? It's given in the question 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 into 1000, it's 700 kg per meter cube. Perfect. Let's go for specific weight. Specific weight formula is weight by volume, but here we don't know the weight. We should calculate weight. So I can't use that formula. What is the second formula available for me? Rho into G. Rho just now I calculated which is 700. So 700 into 9.81 I got 6867. I think now I can calculate weight. So according to the original formula of specific weight, weight by volume, we have volume, we have specific weight ready. Just calculate weight. So what will be weight from this formula? W into V. And hence I got my weight. So like this you have to keep solving the problems. What I want to tell you is all the things rotate about these three properties only. Density, weight density and specific gravity. Everything runs around these three pa parameters only. But you have to be very clear in applying what formula. What is given, what formula can be applied. So you can be, you can apply this when you are thorough with the formulas. So you have to remember those formulae. Then only you will understand okay which formula I can use. Say if you are struck up only with one formula for specific weight, weight by volume. But here it is given something in terms of rho and g. So you will get hanged up. So you should not be like that. You have to be clear with all the formulae, sub formulae related to these main properties. Then only can solve the numericals. Hope I am uh, I'm, uh, very clear. Still you have a doubt, you can just contact me through mail or through a comment. And uh, 
let's go in detail with another important fluid property in our next video okay stay tuned and thank you